Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what messages the cards have for you at this particular point in time. Um, this reading is for those that are going to resonate with it the most. Of course, not everyone will. So if you find that the messages aren't resonating, that is okay. Don't force it, it just let it flow. Or perhaps you might be interested in the personal reading. If so, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. With all of that being said, let's take a look and see what messages are coming up for you. There is a lot of um, swords energy here. To the person who I am uh, connecting to, to the person that I am speaking to, you have someone around you, someone who is, um, someone who is romantically interested in you. Okay, someone who is quite, who's very attracted to you. But the Eight of Swords is a very interesting um, card for it to show up. Because I feel like this is someone whom maybe you're in a no contact situation with this person. Uh, maybe you and this person aren't necessarily speaking. Uh, maybe there is some sort of distance between you and this person. Maybe this is someone that you're crushing on and they're crushing on you. The Eight of Swords suggests that whoever this is, this person is not reaching out to you. Whilst they have a strong attraction to you or whilst they you might be occupying a lot of their mental energy so they're thinking about you um, they're constantly thinking about you but it feels like with the eight of swords energy this person is being protected they feel like they're being protected from harm or from like hurt or pain by self-imposed restrictions this feels like there is someone who wants to get close to you Okay, someone who wants to build more of an uh, intimate connection with you, but this person is afraid. And I feel like this person is really giving in to their fear. Into their, um, and I think this person is also potentially self-sabotaging themselves and self-sabotaging this connection they have with you. Because they're giving into this energy of fear. They're giving into this energy of insecurity. This is someone who, for one reason or another, feels trapped. Uh, this is someone who they feel trapped between their head and their heart. Someone who feels torn. So they want to love you, but they don't know how to. They want to get close, but they don't know how to. This is someone who wants to speak they want to reach out they want to communicate but they're not doing so because once again they're giving into their insecurity they're giving into their fear i don't know it feels like there's some sort of overarching uh issues in this connection that you have with this person one of which i feel like this person feels like they might not have access to you right now or you guys aren't again if you're in a no contact no communication uh phase of the uh, connection or it's someone who wants to reach out someone who wants to communicate someone who wants to say something but is holding back this person could maybe you are in a relationship maybe you're in a committed relationship and you're attached to someone 
maybe this person is attached to someone else because Eight of Swords and the Hierophant's energy. Notice how it's wedged between the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords and Hierophant energy right here. It's it points to not wanting to break the rules, not wanting to overstep boundaries, not wanting to yeah break rules. So I feel like either they are scared to approach you because you are in a relationship, you are committed to someone else. Or maybe this person is in a relationship and committed to someone else. Someone's energy really feels like there's some inner turmoil that they cannot break free from. Okay, someone is, it feels like someone is stressing over you. Someone is wanting to communicate. Someone is wanting to have access to you. Or they have something that they want to say with you. Or they want to reach out. And it's almost like they're desperate. This is a card, Nine of Swords, it's a card that symbolizes anxiety, it symbolizes worry, it's it's a state of restlessness. So someone could be losing sleep over you. Maybe they regret how they acted towards you. Maybe they feel like they had a miss, missed opportunity. Maybe this is someone who um, is struggling. Yeah, they are, they certainly are struggling, but it's like an inner turmoil. I feel like there's some sort of powerful message that this person wants to communicate. There's, I feel like they're struggling to, or perhaps the both of you are, maybe you have some sort of issue that the both of you have to resolve. This is someone who's certainly distracted. I feel like they're waiting. I'm getting a strong energy of this person, like checking their phone. I also feel like this person is making stuff up or hearing stuff. Like, for example, they're constantly checking their phone, right? Because the sword's energy is mental energy. So I feel like this is someone who's constantly thinking about you or is constantly... Uh, you're on their mind, but I feel like there's something here that they want to tell you. And this person is like obsessively checking their phone or obsessively checking what you're posting. It, it Honestly, it's to the point where they swear they felt their phone vibrate or they heard like a message come in. But it's just all in their head. I think that this person wants to send you a text message. I think that they're a little hesitant to call. But I feel like this is someone who wants to send you some sort of text message. I also feel like this is this person's heart races. Like if you've communicated with them lately, if you've sent them a message or if you've spoken to them lately, I feel like this person's heart races as they type their message or as they talk to you. There is a heavy chest in their feeling. Uh, there is a heavy sorry heavy feeling in their chest that that's what i meant to say i feel like this person is i think this person is really worried i feel like they're really anxious about either getting a text back from you or they're anxious about sending this text to you or they're anxious to hear from you they're getting worked up about something Maybe it could have been something that you said as well, right? Maybe something that you've said to them is really working them up. I feel like they're relying on some sort of text message to make them happy. Either they're waiting for you to respond or they're waiting to hear from you. Okay, or yeah, they're just waiting for you to reach out. They're waiting for you to notice. Uh, I think that... I think this is someone who, honestly, this is someone who adores you. I think this is someone who is very attracted to you, is very attracted to your energy, is very attracted to the way that you uh, carry yourself.
if you're if you are in a relationship with someone else if you're attached to someone else and you know who this other person is i think that this person it, it's almost like they feel like they should be with you and they feel like the person that you're with should be like they should be so lucky to have you The other interpretation could be that this is someone who might be developing some very strong feelings for you, but they're too scared to commit. They're too scared to commit, but they're also too afraid to lose you. So what do they want? Do they know what they want? I think this is someone, it feels like this is someone who's really controlled by fear. I think that yeah this is interesting to me this person is afraid to to make a move or to move things forward with you because but at the same time they, they don't commit but they're afraid to lose you and it feels like it's like the risk of losing you or the risk of being hurt outweighs the potential of things going right outweighs the potential of yeah everything going right you might not also be this person's only choice they may have other people around them and maybe this person isn't sure about who to commit to I think this is someone who is scared of being vulnerable. I think that this is someone who I think they may be scared of getting hurt again as well. I think this is someone who is genuinely interested in you, genuinely attracted to you. But I just think this is someone who is so scared of being vulnerable. Someone who's so scared. You can't see that. Someone who is very scared of um, getting hurt. I think this is someone who has either recently got out of a toxic relationship. Or maybe still feels the residues of a toxic relationship. And... They don't want to go back to that place again. I feel like this person, that's the other thing that they may, you know, this powerful message that I feel like they want to say, this powerful message could be that they are falling in love with you or they are developing some really intense feelings for you. The thing is, there's some inner conflict or some inner turmoil, and I think that it potentially is leading them to hide their true feelings, to hide their true emotions for you. I also feel like this is someone who has a hard time labeling emotions. Okay? They may be falling in love with you, but maybe they don't know. Maybe they've never loved before, and they don't know what love feels like. Um maybe he has fallen he or she has fallen in love with you but they're scared i think that this person is very frustrated with themselves because they don't know if you're reciprocating their feelings so they don't know if there's reciprocal energy here because again it feels like either you're you're unavailable or they're unavailable in some capacity or they for some reason they have restricted access to you um I think that both of you have fallen for each other at one point. I think you've fallen for each other, but in a different way. I think this person, that the energy that I'm picking up on, it could be you or it could be the person that you're connected to. 
I think they experience a fear of rejection, a fear of commitment, or a fear of vulnerability. And I think that they have shown you signs that they are interested in, but they're also very careful to not lean into that too much because they're scared. And I think this is someone, like, they're very anxious. So before they make a move, I feel like this is someone who really discerns, like, what their next move would, would be. Like, before they move their chess piece, they really think it through. Uh, they're really, like, diagnosed. They're like this diagnostician. They diagnose the situation, um, what they should say, what would you reply. So quite an anxious kind of energy, actually. Um, I also feel like there's them wanting to communicate with you but there's certainly a hesitance in their energy and I think that hesitance is them it stops them from making that move there's some sort of uncertainty uncertainty about whether you're going to respond uncertainty whether you're going to reciprocate what they like reciprocate their feelings or what they say or uncertainty about compatibility as well Alright guys, these are your messages. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing or subscribing. Keep shining your light and bye for now.